Mirrors must be adjusted properly to get the best view of what's behind the truck and beside it. Proper adjustment can also help you back straighter and track your trailer wheels while turning. So let's get started. The first step is to drive straight ahead and stop with the tractor and trailer perfectly aligned. Next, adjust the seat to the height and position behind the wheel you prefer. This will make a difference in how you see the image in the main mirrors. Using the mirror adjustment controls usually on the door, or manually moving the glass if no electric controls are available, turn the glass so that you have a 90-10 field of view in the mirror. You should be able to see just a tiny strip of the trailer along the inner edge of the glass, more about 10%, and the widest field of view possible, about 90%, beside the trailer. Next, adjust the vertical field of view in the driver's side mirror so the back of the trailer appears to be about one quarter to one third of the way up from the bottom of the main mirror. This provides a good view of the lane adjacent to the trailer as well as a good view of the traffic approaching from behind. For the right hand mirror, because you are further away from the mirror, the field of view will be narrower. In this case, it's okay to keep the trailer as just a mere sliver down the inside of the glass. This will give you the widest field of view of the lane to the right of the trailer. Keep the rear of the trailer about one quarter to one third of the way up from the bottom on the main mirror. When reversing, if you keep the same field of view in the mirrors as when you're moving forward, you'll know you're reversing straight. The convex mirrors below the main mirrors provide a wider field of view in the area under and behind the mirrors. Because of the distorted view, convex mirrors aren't very useful for determining distances, but they're very good at revealing the presence of other vehicles or pedestrians beside the truck. When aiming convex mirrors, don't try to duplicate what you can already see in the main mirror. Push the bottom of the convex mirror forward and the outside of the mirror outward. This provides the best field of view directly beside the tractor and far out to the right or the left side as applicable. This perspective is very useful while turning when the trailer wheels can no longer be seen in the main mirror. Fender mounted convex mirrors provide a view of the area between the front wheels and the doors. This is a critical blind spot on the right hand side of the truck. The worst blind spot on the driver's side is directly behind the door in the area between the door and the drive wheels. After adjusting the mirrors, pay extra attention to the view in the mirrors and observe traffic passing to the right and left of the truck. Notice where in the field of view a car disappears from view in the main mirror and appears in the convex mirror. Also observe when you are able to actually see the car directly through the windows. Learn these locations for future reference so that you'll be able to instantly recognize what you see in the mirrors. You won't always have the time to try and discern what you see it should become second nature. Also, pay attention to the position of your trailer wheels when making a right-hand turn. Learning to recognize what an adequate distance from the curb looks like in the convex mirror. That will help you build confidence in your turning skills. And if you're ever unsure if you're too close to something to proceed, either get out and look, or use the mirror adjustment controls to swing the mirror outward to get a clearer view. Take the time to readjust the mirrors each time you drive a different truck. If you keep the field of view consistent, you won't have to guess at what you're looking at in the mirror. <laughs>